What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to install FTB Revelation onto your server and onto your client. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our Minecraft videos. Minecraft. Vanilla Minecraft. Everybody knows exactly what it's all about at this point. You start out with nothing, you craft some basic items to help you start mining, you find some diamonds, and then you get strong enough to go fight whatever basic bosses there are in the game. Well, while this can be fun and while the wither fight can get very exciting, there are times where you just simply want more. Introducing FTB Revelation. This is an absolutely massive mod pack, and today we're going to go over some of the basics in it and how to install it. Before we get started though, you gotta know that you can find any of the links that you need in the description of this video, whether that's the link to the FTB page or any other related ones that might be useful. Well, let's jump in. To install it on your server side, the first thing you're gonna need to do is open up your panel and click the red stop button to stop your server. Once that's done, you're going to scroll down to where you see jar file field and in the drop down tab, you can select the search bar to type in FTB revelation. This is one of the many mod packs that we offer from FTB on our panel. Once you've selected it, a pop-up will say change version and you can click that, then click create a new world. And finally, you'd normally click restart now, but there's an optional thing. So go ahead and click on I'll restart later if you want to do this optional thing. So from here, we're going to enable biomes of plenty, which is an optional feature on our server. Head to the left hand side and click on config files, then click server settings. Once you scroll down to where you see the level type, it'll normally say default as that is set to default. What you'll want to replace it with is in all caps, biomes up. This is what works for 1.12.2, which is what this mod pack is based off of. Go ahead and scroll down and click save. A new pop-up will appear. Click create new world. Click restart now. And then once that's finally reset, you'll see config file saved and you'll be good to go. To install it on your client, you'll first want to head to feed-the-beast.com and you're going to first install the Feed the Beast launcher. You do need this in order to run it on your server, by the way. So once you're at this page, you're going to go ahead and click the FTB app button and you're going to select the download for your operating system for whatever that may be. Once you've completed the installation process, you'll be greeted with this page. What you're going to do from here is go on the left hand side and click on browse and in the search bar at the top, you're going to type in FTB revelation and hit enter. The only thing that should pop up is FTB revelation and go ahead and select that one. Now from here, you can see the description or overview and you can see just how many mods are attached to this and I didn't even scroll all the way down to show you because it's just too many. But once you're ready, you can go ahead and click the green install button. This pop up will appear and this is basically letting you know which version you may want to install. We of course are going to stay with the latest version and you're going to go ahead and click the green install button. The install process will begin and once it's finally said and done in the bottom left, you'll see it says mod pack installed view instance. Select that and you'll be taken to the instance of the mod pack that you've been installing and you can click play and in the bottom left of your Minecraft launcher, you'll see where it says FDB revelation and you'll just click play and you'll be good to go. Honestly, this mod pack is just way too massive to cover it all, so let's talk about some of the cool scenery. This is the meteor crash sites, and you'll find these scattered all throughout the overworld. The sky stone that comes down with it is very strong, and obviously I'm in creative, so it's easy to break, but you'd need a level obsidian pickaxe in order to break that. As you can see, the surrounding area is pretty much desolate and revealed a lot of the stone underneath the earth. From here, we're going to talk about biomes of plenty. This is one of the ones that we enabled earlier. And as you can see, it just feels a bit different than what vanilla Minecraft usually offers. Aside from the many different types of trees and things of that nature, there's also just brand new sorts of biomes to check out. Speaking of new things to check out, let's talk about some of the better villages that are offered. Not only do you get regular buildings from vanilla villages and regular villagers, but you also get these new fancy buildings and new fancy villagers that offer some really unique items, such as this crystallizer who offers void crystals. You can also check out some of the unique homes that belong to specific villagers, as well as the Waystones mod, which is very helpful. 
it's located in all villages. You can also see there's some new sorts of furniture as well as some new items to be found in many of these villages. Now, speaking of items, let's talk about not enough items and how massive this mod pack really is. There are 661 pages of the not enough items mod. That is absurd. I think I'll just stick with diamond, honestly. From here though, let's talk about something a little scary. The Yurgast is one of the many mobs that you can encounter throughout your process in this mod pack. It is absolutely a monster of a mob and will not go down very easily. Diamond clearly does not do the trick, and even in creative, I'm still terrified of this ghast. But once you finally do take it out, it actually drops a bunch of cool items in a chest. Sometimes your server can get stuck starting. That's not a difficult fix. All you need to do is go into your panel and go into your console and type in slash FML confirm. This will run a few things on our end, and once it's done, you'll be good to go. Well, gamers, this is a mod pack that offers way more than meets the eye. Even with the amount of mods that come with it, you don't really understand the full grasp of how much can actually go into this. But that'll just about do it for this one, gamers. As always, I hope that you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.